Well, hello, paper crafters. In today's video tutorial, we are going to be making these cute little ornaments that are dimensional. Isn't that cute? It's got snowflakes in there, some glitter, baubles. This one, I use gilding wax on the outside and some of our Stamping Up ribbon at the top to hold it. And what you need to make it is the Mason Jar Shaker Domes. So we're gonna start with that. And you will need two of them. Now the other thing we're gonna be using is the Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack, but the smaller one. Then I'm also gonna be using some Jingle Bells. I have ribbon here. Uh, this was from my local craft store, and this is Stampin' Up! And I believe this was part of the Magnolia Lane uh, ribbon. I have different sequins. And I have some glitter. And then, of course, some designer series paper and I'm trying to use up some of my designer series paper that I have in my stash so as you can see this what both of these were with the current designer series paper so quick little ornament you're going to love how quick this is so what you're going to do is first off punch out four Bobbles. And wait, I want another color besides this one. Let me put you on hold. Okay, I found another one I liked that coordinated with it. So you punch out two of those, and then I'm going to punch out two using this pattern. And then you just glue the two sides together. So that they're same the same on both sides and these match up perfectly and now I'm going to glue these two together And I'm going to set those aside to dry. Then I'm going to decorate the outside of my mason jar. And so this has double-sided tape on it. So what you're going to do is just peel off the backing. It will be sticky on this side, and that's where we're going to put our glitter because we don't want it just plain white. So you don't even need to add any glue to it. And I'm gonna use green this time. And this again, I just bought at my local little craft store. So just sprinkle some of the glitter all along, along the edge with a piece of paper on the back of it to catch the glitter. I'm gonna bring in another piece because I wanna use this leftover glitter that is on this page. So I'm gonna pick these up, kind of dust them off and then bring this in and apply it over the top again.
Okay, now both of these are done. So what I'm gonna do is just turn them over and whatever little bit of glitter I have left over on this piece of paper, I'm just gonna put it on the inside. So it's almost like a little shaker card. Then I've gone ahead and both of the little ornaments that we cut out and uh, stuck together, I punched with a hole punch and it's, I believe, uh, eighth of an inch hole punch. And then again, like I said, I brought in just a little bit of the gold twine from the Magnolia Suite. You can use anything that you want. And I've just tied a little bit of gold around them. Then all you have to do is bring in whatever sequins you want. I can't believe how easy of a project this is. This is so much fun. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold. I think I'm gonna only put three of the red ones in this side. I think there's three there. And three of the green ones. And I did have snowflakes in the other ornaments, but I'm going to leave the snowflakes out and see how that looks. So I've got some sequins in there. And then I'm going to just add my ornaments on top here. Just kind of bring it in. Then I'm going to add three more sequins here, the red, and then three more of these green ones. And a little bit more of this gold. Now I'm going to bring in whatever, um, you want to bring in whatever ribbon you're going to use to hang it with. And you're going to cut off, oh, let's say... Let me measure way over here. I'm sorry, I'm out of ca uh, camera view. But um, let's do, I think probably about four inches there. Then remove the backing off of one of them. Oh, the one with the ornaments in there, pull it up, and then I'm going to add some Fabri-Tac glue up toward the top here to have my ribbon adhered. Just a little bit of Fabri-Tac there, and I want this to be stuck inside there. Then fold over your ribbon, just to make a little bit of a crease, and lay one edge of the ribbon there on the edge of that jar. This is just a little silicone spatula that helps me from getting my fingers all gluey. I love this Fabri-Tac glue. Uh, the only thing about it, because it has acetone in it, it takes the nail polish off your, your nails. So then I have the other side and I just glue that down there, kind of so it's angled. Then remove off the other backing and just so that I make sure that it sticks down well. I'm going to add a little bit more glue. Plus, it also gives you a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that they're aligned correctly. So just a little bit of my art glitter glue there. And then maybe just another little bit of Fabri-Tac here. Then bring your other one and just lay it over the top, aligning them up. That's perfect. 
and then just kind of push it together so it seals them. Is that not fantastic how, how fast that is? I just love this. This is probably one of my fastest video tutorials ever. What you're going to do is take three of the little jingle bells that we have in the catalog. I have a red one, a green one, and a gold one. And I went ahead and strung them on this gold twine here, then tied a knot several times. And now I'm just going to tie it around the ribbon here. And then I add just a little bit of liquid glue to the knot so it doesn't come undone. And this glue dries clear. So just put a little bit underneath there. And it will keep it from unraveling. And then snip off the edge. And there we have our beautiful little Christmas Christmas ornament that's like a little shaker card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm glad that it was quick. I know we're all very busy at this time of the year. If you have any questions, need any of the supplies, please let me know. And otherwise, I will see everyone next Monday. Bye! And have a great week.